Well, guys, didn't expect this news today, did we? I am Nathaniel Rufflejance from Nintendo Prime, and uh, we've got a fresh rumor for you today. And this rumor is coming from none other than Jeffrey Grubb. Now, Jeff Grubb has a long-standing history in this industry as a video game journalist, uh, working at multiple outlets. He's currently one of the main talking heads uh, over at Giant Bomb, uh, especially in wake of Jeff Gerstrom uh, finally leaving. I'm not sure if you guys are aware that happened, uh, but now... Uh, uh, Jeff Grubb is there, and he does a lot of great stuff. There's a lot of different shows. I did a morning show today talking about uh, all of the news. It's kind of like a, a, a morning news show. And what's interesting is that he went over uh, a bunch of stuff happening. He went over to the Tunnel Drive Mini and all this stuff, and we talked about that earlier. What he also went over is a surprise holiday game this year that Nintendo is going to be announcing later this summer, and that game in Metroid Prime remake slash remaster, whatever, however Nintendo decides to title it. He said his sources have confirmed it is coming later this year, this holiday season in particular, and that Metro Prime 2 and 3 are also going to get this exact same treatment in, you know, years to come. So it looks like we're going to get the entire Metroid Prime trilogy, uh, obviously all the way up through the new Metroid Prime 4 eventually, uh, in HD and in all the glory of whatever visuals uh, they plan to do with those games, with the control schemes they plan to do or support with those games. Obviously, we know they did the Metroid Prime Trilogy back on Wii. They brought motion controls to Metroid Prime 1 and, and 1 and 2. But whatever. The point is that apparently these things are coming this holiday. That's it. That's the news. That's the video. Have a good day, everyone. Now, just look, you guys can head out if you want. Uh, but I would encourage before you dip out, that, hey, we're almost to 80,000 subscribers. So why not subscribe to the channel? Uh, we'll be giving away a replica Breath of the Wild Master Sword, an actual Steel Blade Master Sword. And we'll be giving away a Hylian Shield and a Deco Shield whenever we hit 80,000 subscribers. We're not starting the giveaway now, but we will then. So there's no way to enter it right now. Uh, entries will begin once we get to our subscriber goal. Now, I find this all to be really interesting. We know that these games have been rumored originally by Emily Rogers back in the day. She thought the trilogy might be being done. And then she later said, oh, it looks like they're doing one at a time. And Emily Rogers Rogers has really been the big one on this. But Jeff Grubb, having his own sources, which I presume his sources are ones that work at Retro Studios, which is a U.S. company uh, based out of Texas, I believe. I, I think that his sources are probably correct on this one. Now, Jeff Grubb was wrong on some stuff with Switch Pro last year and also wrong on Zelda 35th Anniversary, mostly the Twilight Princess HD, Wind Waker HD, which he still thinks is coming this year, but, you know, he doesn't know if and when it'll ever be announced. He thinks that Nintendo just is sitting on it, but that's what he thinks. Not, maybe not what he knows, but he says he knows from his own sources that this is happening. Jeff Grubb has a long history and uh, has been doing a lot of things in this industry, and he knows a lot of stuff. He's not always right. He's not always wrong. Uh, he's a journalist just reporting what he hears, and things change behind the scenes all the time. But it's interesting that that's happening, and Nintendo isn't doing a general direct because that would be a pretty big announcement at a general direct. It's also possible that, hey, just because we're getting uh, Nintendo Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase now doesn't mean we can't get a Nintendo Direct Mini in July or August that happens to be focused on Nintendo First Party. Or maybe we get a general Nintendo Direct later this summer. Nintendo's going to do whatever the hell Nintendo wants to do. And that is what I have learned about Nintendo over the years is we can't control what they're going to do. They're going to give us the news when they want to give us the news. Uh, E3 was always something that made them feel obligated to a certain time of the year, and typically February and September, but not always. Nintendo's going to do what they want to do. So I would be really excited about that. That would also add another amazing game to Nintendo's lineup. So I don't know. Does this make you feel a little better about the Nintendo Direct Mini today? Does it make you feel a little bit better for those of you upset about it? Do, do you feel a little better knowing that this is a high possibility of happening later this year? Again, rumor. I can't confirm it. I haven't heard anything. Uh, but Jeffrey Grubb, who is well-connected, has. So, hey, put that one, uh, you know, stick that feather in your cap. Get the, get, the, get the salt, throw it over your right shoulder. Is it left? I don't know. Whatever they said in Dumb and Dumber. And uh, we'll catch you guys in the next video.